I like whipped cream. And, uh, Too easy. We should, too easy. This was too easy, yeah. Too easy. <laughs> we, <laughs> We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just gonna have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not gonna be hard to do. Yes, they are. Yes. We have mostly Especially the women girls. in the uh, in the audience tonight, which is kind of a neat thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are becoming the sex symbol of the nineties. Well, that's what Con uh, that's what Connie Chung said. That's right. Yes, that's she right. Did. She did. They, she fired did. Her. they fired her the next week. <laughs> okay. Wow, what are we making tonight? Tonight we're making lamb curry. Now is this really lamb? This is really lamb. Because, you know, when we made elk meat stew, I went through the whole show thinking that was really elk meat, and then he told me that it wasn't. But the elk meat was so bad. It was, it was frozen, then it defrosted, and then I froze it again, and it defrosted, and it was gray. It <laughs> but this it. is really this lamb. This is really, really. Come from, come from Ralph's today. Okay. We from love Ralph's. Ralph's. Yes, yes. Okay, turn the, turn the fire on over there. Turn the fire yeah, on. And put, and put some oil in the pan. Can you and do that? And oil in the pan. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. How much oil should we have? Oh, enough. Enough. Yeah, and that's what'll cover the pan, you know. Okay. Well, now, do we want it heavily coated or just like a light, glossy covering? Yeah. Oh, whatever, whatever. Well, you I can't, can always you, pour there's, out the excess. There's right? no way you can get too much oil. No. No, no. Oil is what makes stuff good. Well, I don't want to deep fry this. Oil, oil is what makes stuff good. Really? Yes. Yes, but you know what? It's also fattening, and that is something that I'm just very concerned with these days. You know, I went to this fundraiser in L.A. Yes. And, I mean, I never thought of myself as really fat. But those women in Los Angeles are so skinny. I mean, it's not good enough to be a six anymore. You need to be a four or a two. Yeah, but you know what? Those women, they rattle. <laughs> yeah, they do. They rattle. Oh, boy. Yes. I mean, we were sitting, we were sitting at this table that was right on the aisle, so everybody had to go past us to go to the bathroom, which is great. And so as they were going to the bathroom, I was wondering, I got up to go to the bathroom because there's all these celebrities, and so everybody's got to pee, so you get to see all the celebrities. And so I'm going in the bathroom because I was trying to listen to see if anybody was puking. Because they were all so skinny. Oh. <laughs> that was in a movie we just saw. What was it? Oh, yeah, but no, this was for real. I yeah. mean, I went in there thinking, well, what's going on? And the fundraiser that I was at, which I brought you the book, it was the third annual Achievement in Arts Awards. Yes. And these are all the people that were being honored. There was Smokey Robinson and Dolores Hope and Celine Dion, and there you are with your wife. Donna and, and, and John Crean. That's says that right. right there. That's right. And that picture, when was that picture taken? Oh, when we were, we were young, very young. That is an old picture. But it's better to use that one because the pictures we got now has got all them wrinkles in them. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you're very Hollywood because everybody else's picture in here was the same thing. It was when they were really, really young. None of the people that got on stage looked like these pictures. This is a, a pan. Oh, here, Barbara. So oh, I was very this amazed. In. Barbara, but, this, is, this is a cooking show. Well, I I'll thought put you that. would be really thrilled to see this. Oh, I this. am thrilled. Since I was invited I'm, to go by your wife, but you were no, not there. No, well, I went, I went fishing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do it. Do okay. It. 
No. Okay, so sure. all the little lambs are being fried now. This way. Aren't they cloning lambs? What? Aren't they cloning lambs? Cloning Wait, lamb. lambs and sheep are the same thing, right? No. Oh. Yes, I guess they're. I don't know. No, yeah, lamb is a baby sheep. Oh, is it? Oops, yeah. I need fine glasses. I think. Um, well, I wonder if this is a cloned lamb. What do you mean cloned? What's a cloned lamb? What are you talking about? Whoa. Turn the fire down, Barbara. You, you got to wait. You so? Turn down a little bit, yeah. Wow. Because that's a big range. That's got big burners. That is. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Barbara, why don't you turn the fire down a little bit? Well, I did, but now it's, it's like coming over the pan. I'll tell you, this job is very hazardous. Gosh. Okay, so they're real Curry, Curried lamb, lamb that's, a, that's a Middle Eastern dish, isn't it? Huh? Curried lamb, isn't that a Middle Eastern dish? Like Is from, it? I think so. But I thought curry was from India. Isn't that Middle East? Is it? I don't know. You I didn't, know, I wish you wouldn't ask I, me hard questions on television. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pay any attention to geography either. Well, you made a curry thing one, more, one time before. Curry chicken. That's right, and it stunk up the whole curry garage. Curry chicken. People were leaving and their hair was smelling of it. Really? Just gross. Really? Yeah, I went home that night oh, Barbara, and... Barbara, why aren't you stirring? Oh, okay. Well, I found so many great things and then I got a bunch of faxes um, today. Would you like to hear some of my faxes? Not really. <laughs> but... No, here, there's some really good ones. Are these okay. ones you wrote yourself, or did people actually really fax them to you? No, this actually comes from Paula Dunn, and this was a joke that she sent to us. Okay? A guy walks into his bedroom to find his 55-year-old wife jumping up and down on the bed laughing and singing. He keep, says to her, Okay, what's up with you? And she says, I just had a checkup, and the doctor said that I had the breasts of the 18-year-old. And her husband says, well, what did he say about your 55-year-old ass? To which the wife replied, your name never came up. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Barbara, that is, that is such an old joke. That, that is it was so, new to me. That, in fact, you know, Milton Berle used to tell that joke. He even gave it up because it was too old. Well, yeah. you know what? Every joke I get faxed, you say Milton Berle used to tell that joke. What is he, 90 years old? Yes, he is. Well, so he just he's been 90. around a long time. He's told all the jokes. Let's see here. Combined but they're new to me. Perfect. How many people had heard that joke before? Okay, only about three. So well, see, it was new to really? all of you, too. And then I got another one here. I got another one here that was very, very cute, which I thought you would, you would like. Okay, a woman's having a dinner party for some very, very fancy people, because this is kind of a cooking show joke. And she sends her husband out to go get some snails, and they live by the beach. So snails? He, snails for the dinner party. So he goes down along the beach with his bucket, and he sees this really gorgeous babe, and they start talking, and one thing leads to another, and they go to her beach house, and he kind of gets <clears throat> lost for a couple of hours. Barbara, turn the fire on under the little pot. Okay. Almost and forgot. then all of a sudden he looks at his watch and he realizes he better go home because he, his wife's waiting for him and the snails. So he goes home and his wife is really mad now. And she opens the door and just as she opens the door it startles him and he drops the snails down the, on the floor and he turns around to them and he goes, hey guys, hurry up, she's waiting. You get it? No. I don't get well, it. Well, the snails, he blamed being late on the fact that the snails were going too slow. Oh, oh okay. All right. All right. Now I'm with you. Okay. That's, that was pretty complicated, Let's though, see. Barbara. Our you stage know manager is holding up a sign that says, turn the flame down on the small pan. Oh, my gosh, yes. No problem. All right. Is that down enough? Now, Barbara, we and just that put... is boiling rapidly. That's Good. what they call an angry boil. Oh, it's already. Oh, we got it. This is our. This is our rice. I got our a new. Rice. I, this is a new kind of rice, but it's still instant rice. So turn the fire off. 
Turn the fire off yeah, now. Under the right shift. Okay, and what yeah. happens? Well, now we're going to put this in, and we got to stir it. But not with that thing. You got not with that thing. No, no. another that. utensil. Yes. I knew oh, that. Oh boy, that sure smells good. Okay. No, that's. What? No. Oh, it's a spoon. No, no, because then you can go like this with it. Barbara, that's a ladle. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, whatever. How about this one then? I can just stir it around like this. All right. Okay. Now, do we cover this? Yes, cover it. Okay. And how long would this instant rice cook? It doesn't cook. It just sits there. It sits there, and all the water goes into the rice. Okay. Is this like a science project? No. <laughs> okay, so what happens now with this lamb and onions? Well, because we're going to put some more stuff in there. the onions are transparent. This is, this, is, this is a half teaspoon of ginger I just put in that thing. Okay. And I put in a tablespoon of garlic and a half, Ew. And a, half a teaspoonful of ginger and then something everywhere. else. What's this? Cumin. What is cumin? Cumin? We use cumin all the time, and I never did know what it is. Does anybody it's, know? Anybody cook? Yeah, okay. Whoa, there's you, usually at least one person. You, put it, you put it in chili, I know that. You know what maybe we should do? We should hire one of those food consultants that they have on real cooking shows. Yeah, but they got, you'd, you'd have to pay them a lot of money. Really, they, I don't think you could buy them off with feeding them this They stuff. don't work for food, no. That's kind of nice. We actually have a crew that will work for food. <laughs> I'm surprised they all haven't gotten Tomaine. It's been five and a half years. Boy, it has been that long. You know, I was yeah. a, a young, fairly young man when this started. Boy. I, I wasn't even getting my Social Security. No, that's right. That uh, was no, before Social Security. Yes, you were in your it. 60s. Yes. That's true. In fact, it was really cute. We were in this restaurant the other Friday, and there was this very nice, young, nubile waitress. And, uh, he's nubile? This, What's nubile? Well, shapely, and, and um, she was just a real peach. And he looks at me and he goes, ah, oh, to be 60 again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, she was so young, she wasn't even getting his jokes. <laughs> I wonder if you can sue the restaurant for sexual harassment if it's a customer. You know, what do you, you mean? ever think of that? You mean if the customer harasses the waitress? Yeah. No. Or I'd have been sued a long time ago. Uh, this is getting really slippery. Is it? We've got to yes. put more stuff in that. Should I put this, that in here? Put this in there. Can you get It's awful thick, but you can get okay. it in there. Okay. Now, in this mixture is curry. Uh, garlic. Garlic. Cornstarch. Uh-huh. Boy, you know when you put that in there, that's going to turn to glue. Cornstarch and... Uh, uh, <laughs> What I what was it? Um, cumin. Cumin. That's cumin. right. Cumin. The stuff we don't know what it is. Yeah. Right. That's okay. We cook with a lot of things we don't know what it is. How's it looking, Barbara? Um. Didn't turn to glue. No, not at all. It just has like a light coating on it, but it's kind of a mustardy color. Oh, that's Which nice. goes very nice with our cabinets and my hair. Oh, that's looking good. Don't keep stirring, think? though. Keep okay, stirring. I'm keeping stirring. Keep stirring, yes, keep stirring. Well, I don't want to overcook it because then you could have really tough lamb, no, right? No, no, that you want to overcook it. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lamb, kill the bacteria. Lamb should be cooked really well. Yes. Right. Yes. Did you see in the newspaper the other day they're having another meat scare? Really? No. Yeah, it's getting like you can't eat eat meat anymore. What kind of a meat scare was it? Well, they are finding, you know, the E. coli virus or whatever bacteria. This stuff's coming all over me. I think I needed a bigger pan. No, that's that's just a right size pan, Barbara. Do you think so? Mm -hmm, yes. Let's look at our rice. <gasps> like magic! Look. Yes. It turned white. Yeah, and Uncle. It popped up. Uncle Ben figured that out a long time ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, I bet he got rich on that, you know what? Yeah, you think so? You think yeah. there really was an Uncle Ben? Probably. There was a Colonel Sanders, because I met him. You did? You yes. met Colonel I met Sanders? Colonel Sa you know, he was 65 years old when he started the company. He was pretty old, yes. Wow. And he broke. lived to be in his 90s, too. Yes. Okay. See, so there's, <laughs> there's hope for you. Okay, we're going to put some carrots in there now. Carrots? Well, you know I'm allergic to carrots. I know you are. Stir. 
<laughs> now we're just oh we got one more thing to put in there. But you know what? They do add some color because this is looking oh, this, pretty that's gorgeous, beige. <laughs> okay. He don't watch the show anyway, so no. he actually did watch the show one time. And he said to me, what, what's with this? I never notice all the mistakes you make. <laughs> yeah, I did watch it. I've watched it a couple of times. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. bad. I can't imagine why anybody <laughs> why anybody would watch it. You know, I'm allergic to apples, This too. is apple. This is, it's not only what apple. What's this kill <clears throat> barber knife? This is not only apple. This is Japanese apple. Yeah. Japanese apple? Yes. I'm going to be taking antihistamines until like 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Barbara's mother scared her, and she's allergic to everything. That's not true. It is, too. I no. do have these real allergies. My nose runs. Oops. Ooh, look, it tried to get in my pocket. Oh, that is looking, that is looking so good. That is looking so good. How's our time? I don't know. I think our floor manager's asleep. He is. Look at that. He's all, is there a camera? Is there a camera? Thing? It's a shame you can't see him. He's laid out on the floor, and I think he's actually watching. Barbara, that you've been show. throwing food all over the all over the place. Ten there. minutes, he said. We got a whole ten minutes. Oh, well, I better leave this here then. I better leave this here. Why well, are you get like close to being finished? We're getting close because we're gonna put this in okay. here. Okay. And then this has got to simmer for about about ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now it got really soupy. Yes, but there's cornstarch in there, so it'll, uh, it'll stiffen up. Do you think so? Yeah, but that's the only thing it'll work on, is it stuff like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I tried it. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? Speaking of things you can do with food other than eat it, I found this very interesting article in Cosmopolitan. Okay, this article told you things you can do with food other than eat it. And it says here that to cure frizzies and prevent split ends, massage Aunt Jemima Original Syrup into dry hair, cover with a shower cap for 30 minutes, and shampoo and rinse thoroughly. To cure what? Frizzies. <coughs> frizzies. Oh. You use Aunt Jemima Syrup. It probably works because Aunt Jemima doesn't have any frizzies. And then it also says that dissolve one teaspoon of Jello in a cup of water, and it will make a styling lotion for your hair. Now the thing that's weird is what was that? Kleenex. Oh, how nice! Oh, look at here, Kleenex. Isn't that nice? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh boy. Our staff is just right there. Yeah. Right Barbara, you're, not, you're throwing it all I over the... I am not. I'm stirring. I'm yeah, but you're stirring. throwing it all over the stove. My gosh. No. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. Now you, don't, now, now you don't have to stir. Let's just kind of straighten it all out. Just, and, and, well, you know what? It's not it getting simmer. any thicker, though. Let it sim yeah, it's getting thicker. I don't and think let it, so. Let it simmer and get it down off the edges here. So you squash it? Well, no, you flatten it out. You flatten so it, it all, out. So it all gets in the juice. Okay. okay. Boy, well, we what got, should we do with our rice? We got a lot of stuff. We'll just leave it there for a few minutes. I'm looking at the time. We, got, we still got eight minutes, see? Okay. Well, don't you think you so should get we, your plates is, out? So what are we going to do with all this? Okay, no, this, well, I'll move my stuff. This is all... Uh, you don't think you should get your plates out and start doing that kind of thing? No, not yet. Aren't you going to read some more of that stuff there? Well, I got? have some good things for you. Well, tell I me about it. I have some very, very good things tell for you. Tell me about you. it. Um, do you well, want to hear... We gotta turn this fire down. Wanna Ooh. hear some more jokes? No. You really don't? This is a really cute one. I think you'll, whoa. I think you really like this one. This one comes to us from Steve Barner. Steve Barner. Steve Barner. Okay, a man walks into, a man and a woman walk into a very posh Rodeo Drive furrier. And the guy says, show the lady your finest mink. So the shopkeeper comes back with a gorgeous full length coat and the lady tries it on, and the furrier says to the guy discreetly, uh, you know, sir, this coat is $65,000. The guy says, no problem, writes him a, uh, a check for $65,000, and 
And the shop owner says to him, well, today is Saturday, so you can come back on Monday and pick up the coat after the check has cleared. Mm. So the man and the woman leave, and on Monday the guy returns, and the store owner is really, really mad. He says, how dare you show your face in here? There wasn't a single penny in your checking account. And the man just grinned and said, I just had to come by to thank you for the most wonderful weekend of my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, that's a very Newport Beach joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, there's always somebody scamming in Newport Beach. If you watch Hard Coffee or Inside Edition, there's always Newport Beach, California. That's right. It and, really is. And, and Scottsdale, Arizona. Really? Are those yes. the two scam Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Why do you think Scottsdale? I don't know, but that's where all the maybe it's just the all heat. the scammers are. I know it. Sometimes it gets too hot in here, and I can't think straight. Oh, you're making a rice ring. We're making a dam because we oh, got it's some a dam. Okay. It's a dam because we've got so much stuff here. If we don't have a dam, it's like in Seal Beach. They use they use they use uh, sandbags. You know. Okay. Yeah. And that didn't thicken as, as much as it should have. Do you want to add some flour to it? No, I don't think so. It's all right. I don't care. Well, I mean, how thick yeah, do right. you want it? It's going to be like paste, right. no, man. Okay. I mean, this at least this all is right, all right, edible. Right. Now, what, what in the hell? What is this? Well, it's a scooper. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a, that's a pasta grabber for spaghetti. You grab it there. And then this is to, to check how much pasta you got. Really? Because that's so much and that's so much and that's oh, so I much. Oh, I thought it was like a size thing for men. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You know, I told you it's the heat. It's the heat thing. I'm sure oh, glad we got boy. that rice there because this is going to go right over the side. You know? Well, maybe you're putting too much in that bowl. No, no, this is just right. This it looks it looks so good. Isn't that isn't that delicious? Doesn't that look good? Oh boy. Here, I'll put it on our sky cam. Yeah, that's a terrible camera. It doesn't show the colors. It is not. Can put you put on that camera right there? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, that even smells good. Doesn't it? You know what, though? <laughs> I forgot to shut the flame off and it's burning my hand. <laughs> Put it over here. They, they can see it in there. Okay. Yeah. Another successful dish. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. But we don't have any whipped cream. Did it ever cool off? Yes, it's cold. Oh, whipped cream! Hey! Oh, whipped cream! <laughs> whipped cream, are we? Where, where did this come from? Oh! <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Just like the magazine. Okay. Oh, you're ruined. No, this is what you do. Is that what you do? Yes. Okay. There's all this stuff under it. All right. That looks great. That does look. <laughs> Okay, now now we got the pie, all right? Okay. Now, can we put that over with the rest of the stuff? Carbon. Okay. Um, you know what? There's broken plastic in this big pan. Is there? Well, you better shake that out. Let me have that in there. It's not coming out. <laughs> what is broken? What is... That's eggshells. Where the hell did they come from? Weeks. We got some up. So now you take your little dough ball and you try to get it off your gloves. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. What? Oh, Everything's sorry. fine. You have Everything's it all in fine. One ball I have it all in one ball. You, get it all in one ball, you know me. Three. When it comes to balls, I know what I'm doing. We got we to cut it in four pieces. Okay, so we have these four well, you things. Know, I, I anticipated this happening, so this afternoon. <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> this afternoon, I made the dough. 
I quit smoking one time for almost a month. Really? This has been 25 years ago, or more. And uh, a friend of mine had a baby. His wife had a baby. He didn't have a baby. His wife did. And uh, he gave me a cigar, and I smoked it. And I thought, boy, that was pretty good. So I, I got another cigar, and I smoked that. And within a week, I was smoking about 10 cigars every day. Really? And pretty soon, my heart started going blah, 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 like this. And so I went back to cigarettes for another 20 <laughs> Yeah, for another 25 years. You know that it's 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 10 years since I had a cigarette. You know? Really? You know yes, 10 years. It's been three months. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what? 